Ghana here, what makes a person weak is money. If you don't have money, you won't survive here. But we have the minerals. So now I have planned to make it big. This is the one with the gold is in. That is that the stone. One is stone, one is stone. Here is the gold. No risk, no reward. As a field officer, I'm responsible for identifying children who had to stop school and then engage in mining. Ma, ma, I'm going to school. Ah, come on, Zach, you see. Papa told me that our prince now not to be able to do that. I can't say my life would be better if I went to school. What the future of a community will be depends on the children. I suppose I'm going to be able to do this now. Pressure for Maxwell is too much. I know if I make it, I can change our time. No, in this world, God is man. The brain is gold. If you are able to develop the brain well, educating the child, Ghana still has a long way to go. okay? <laughs> The miracle is in a college of Pose Kiji, and you get another Katio given another Wina. Yes, more Wina, Mama, one of the model. We're in Nepal to find out why whole villages chose to sell their organs. People who haven't sold organs, or at least who haven't admitted to it, are often jealous of the help victims receive from charities. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons why people end up uh, in Tent City. The cost of housing is very high. If this is public land and we're part of the public, I believe as an American, we have a right to camp out or to possess uh, public land until something is created. It really, I mean, as hard as it is, and it is hard to live there. Get a job, you bum. That's what, that's the line, right? That's not the case. Most of the people work here. I have a full-time job. A lot of people have full-time jobs, and I still can't afford a home. I have no other house, no apartment, uh, no other options. I work full time, make my paycheck, put it in the bank, and I save it. I still live in a tent. I make too much money. I'm a New Yorker, and I believe that New York is more than, you know, the old idea of the city on the hill. New York is really what America is about. I think that the city has always wanted to forget about Heart Island. The city has wanted to forget about the people who were buried there. It's wanted to forget about the fact that there is a potter's field, that there is a place where difficult stories are hidden. You have so many families who are estranged by distance, by misfortune. No one wants to bury their family on a potter's field. Who should have to go there? New York has had to, you know, just uh, out of necessity, cultivate this kind of indifference. One million New Yorkers who built this city, they should not be forgotten. He is less than a man. He is the slave that built America. We have these companies entering these markets without any kind of concomitant investment in accountability. Google and all the big tech that were developed in Silicon Savannah, they were meant for the first world, yeah? But now, in Kenya, dynamics, you know, uh, the landscape is really different. So you might have a really good smartphone, but now the problem is connectivity, and connectivity, I mean internet, in Kenya, Africa. China is uh, sort of uh, winning the, the race uh, because, you know, the, its products are, are cheaper and it's invested a lot in, in terms of the technology infrastructure. It should come from us. We should be at our forefront leading, you know, revolution in technology. 
I got strung out on crack cocaine when I was 19 years old. Um, a couple of years after, I murdered an ex-girlfriend and her son, Christopher Reed. Right now, I'm serving a life sentence, uh, a natural life sentence for those murders. How do you explain to children that it was a terrible thing what he did, but now it's a good thing that we kill him? Makes no sense. On May 11, 2002, my daughter Megan and her friend Lisa Dixon were killed by a drunk driver. <laughs> I don't need to be punished. <laughs> I'm only sorry to the families. Renee Napier lost her daughter in a car accident caused by Eric Smallridge. Thanks to restorative justice and all of Renee's efforts, Eric is now free. Why the judge, he was like, I have no choice but to give you 20 years. Three men met here to carry out the murder. His family say he knew something about the killing, but wasn't there when it took place. I've been in here treated as a murderer. I hit him on the head. I couldn't stop myself. I've covered countless murders and I've never seen anything like this. What did Zach do? And how has he ended up in jail for life? I'm heading for Catherine to see where the murder took place. His attackers put on plastic gloves and shower caps on their heads and over their shoes. I want to find out why the murder happened here. in Pakistan in Peshawar. That's the border, near border with Afghanistan. Terrorists killing a lot of child. After that, I'm very stressful. I, I, I feel insecure my life. Uh, so I decide to leave my country. Because they are attached to a game, as they call it, they call it the game. Many times I told them, if 100 times you captured me and deport me, I will come again because I want to go and reach my goal. No one can stop us. Not only me, all guys here, they have all their life. They want to go into Europe, make a new life. It really looks like a game, you know. And like uh, this game, he said, I lost this game when he returned back. That's the target. Uh, if you are chief, that's uh, finished. If you are not achieved, uh, game over. Five families work low-wage jobs in 21st century America. I worked last Saturday eight hours. I made 50 bucks. I'm at 10.50 right now. 10.50 sounds like about 10.50. Still can't pay no bills. My dad was receiving chemo. I had to take care of my parents. I'm giving my job 110%, but at the same time, I have a family that I'm trying to support. My family's looking at me. Credit card debt. Hospital bill. Paid $1,200. Student loan payments. $80,000. I mean, like, that's beyond imaginable for me. Can these Americans, young and old, afford to dream when it's hard enough just to survive? The psychiatrist who was evaluating us, he asked me if I thought my children were happy. I remember saying that I don't have time to worry about whether my children are happy or not. I'm too busy trying to keep them safe. The day we walked into court, my lawyer said, this doesn't look good, this doesn't look good. And I said, no, no, it's got to be OK. We're telling the truth. How do you negotiate with somebody that's either battering you, your children, physically, sexually abusing your children? What do you offer? Hennepin County District Judge Michael Davis told Holly Ann Collins he was taking away her two children and giving sole custody to her ex-husband. It's a complete bypass of the whole evidentiary system. The reason why we didn't want to go with our father was because of his actions and what he did to us. Why didn't people believe the drawings that the children were making? Written on the wall in big red crayon was help me. I knew that we had to leave. What well, is illegal to violate a court order and take your children and run? 